Well, good evening. I am back again for this week's uh, Adjusting to Excel series. And so I want to uh, jump jump right on in here. Hope you had an amazing day. Um, so, yeah, we're ready to go now to our second piece of the Adjusting to Excel series. Um, and that is re-strategize. So we talked about uh, rethinking uh, the last few weeks. We've talked about rethinking. So in that rethinking process, we talked about your posture, your attitude, you know, the frame of mind, your mindset. All of those things have to be in play. Uh, the stepping stones for uh, the rethinking process. And we talked about also results of the rethinking process. So uh, go back and watch those. You can go to YouTube and watch those on uh, Bridget Moody uh, Motivation and Conversation or you can watch them here on uh, Bridget Moody Consult the Bridget Moody Consulting page. So you want to go back and get caught up, but I think it's practical um, information. Uh, it's 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 the steps I took. It's my it's my own process that I've used to get myself realigned, readjusted, and um, back on track for moving forward with life, with business, with everything that's occurred. And so. Today, I want to start uh, our re-strategize piece. So this is the second piece of, the, of a three-part Adjusting to Excel series. Um, and so with re-strategizing it, I just want to, you know, kind of get your mind going about a few things today. And then um, next next week, I'll kind of, or the next time, I'll dive back into it a little bit more deeply and we'll go a little bit further. Um, but for the sake of today's session, the three areas that I want to kind of touch on and that is number one, game plan, uh, setting of goals, and number three, reestablishing your audience. So these are these are just a, a, a small component of the re-strategizing process. But the whole reason why you do the rethinking process and, and go through those steps is so that you can establish what your game plan is going to be. So you've looked at Basically, you've reframed your picture. So you had a vision prior to um, the last couple of years and what you were doing. And you may have been on, on a, a path of flowing really well. You may have been on a trajectory of doing really well with whatever it was that you were operating in and doing business in or whatever the case may have been. It could have been ministry, could have been nonprofit. But that all got derailed. So as a result of that getting derailed and what we've now had to pivot and make changes in our lives and, and everything else. You have to do this rethinking process so that you can figure out where was I, where do I want to be, you know, and where am I right now? So that helps you to establish what the strategy is going to be. So that rethinking process is essential and vital so that you can establish, number one, a game plan. Right. You got to establish a game plan. So that's from start to finish. What you're going to do now, what you're going to do later and what needs to happen in the future based on what the big picture looks like, okay? So that's important that you establish that game plan and you document, you put pen to paper, you know, that's my thing, put pen to paper and you need to outline what the game plan is going to be. So this is, you know, you've had your, basically your thought gathering process is your, your rethinking is your, your thought gathering process. Now you're going to do your data gathering process so that you can document a plan and put a plan together. So. That's going to be the first thing. Then number two, you want to reset the goals. So everybody's had a reset. God has reset us all. <laughs> so you've got to now reset your goals because what your goals were prior are not what your goals are going to be now. So now you've got to take the opportunity to reset the goals, which means you have to reestablish what those goals are. So as a result of the first part of this series of adjusting to Excel or adjust or adjustment for uh, advancement, now you have new goals that you can put in place because you have a different picture. You reframe the picture and you know how it is when um, you have a picture in a frame and the frame gets broken. Now, the picture is still good, but you have to reframe it. And when you re reframe it, um, you get another frame and put that same picture in a different frame. It makes the picture look totally different. Right. Because it's been reframed. So you don't have broken glass. You don't have blurred lines. You don't have, you know, an obstruction of what the picture looks like. So the, the picture becomes clear again. It looks like a new new picture again because it's been reframed. So now you you've done your reframing so that you can now get a new picture. Right. Uh, 
So that's what that process is about. So you have to reset those goals, make sure you have new goals, put those goals in place and establish what it is that you need to do. Because putting the game plan together, resetting the goals are all going to work together. Then thirdly, you want to make sure that you're reestablishing your audience. Who your audience was before may not be your same audience or there may be a greater audience now because of the, you know, um, the times that we're in and the things that we've experienced because so many things have shifted with companies, um, you know, the secular uh, community as far as, you know, work at home environment, just a lot of virtual activity, social media activity, online activity. So there's so many things that have changed. So that means you have an opportunity for a new audience. So you have to reestablish who your audience is. Now, that's important for a couple of different reasons. Not only for what you were doing, but for what you may be doing new. There may be something new that you're now doing or there may have been out of your rethinking process. Um, there may have been some ideas that surfaced that gave you an opportunity creatively to do something on a different scale or in a totally different industry. So as a result of that, you have to reestablish that audience. Right. And so you have to prepare yourself for that audience and making sure that you're flowing with that. Now, I want to take you quickly through some things that I'm kind of kind of go into a little bit more the next time uh, that we're together. But I want to just kind of give it to you so that you can kind of be thinking about these areas and um, hopefully it'll help you with your game plan, your resetting of your goals and reestablishing your audience. So I'm going to go through these and then we'll be done for the day. And then the next time I'm back, we're going to dive into these areas of. And this is this is what I call these are tips or areas, things that can help you to see in your big picture. Right. Um, and so the first thing is articulating the vision. And this is the whole reframing of what was there before. So that's kind of goes back to what I just kind of gave you an example of the reframe framing process. You had something in place, but now you've had to reframe it and you've had to, you've had to reset the big picture. You had to reset the picture of what your vision was. OK, so that's key because it starts with a vision. If you can't see it, you can't see it. If you can't see it, you can't do it. You know, and if you can't see it, you can't believe it. So. The big picture, the vision of what the big picture is, is important. Number two, you got to connect the dots of your business or your project effectively. So the game plan, the resetting of the goals, the reestablishing of your audience, you got to make sure that those things align and that they are aligning with what your assignment is. OK, and so you want to make sure that those dots are connecting and they're connecting uh, effectively. Then number three, education and training is important. In other words, preparation, you have to prepare for where it is that you're trying to go. You want to make sure that you're well versed in what it is you're doing, that you have established um, the appropriate training. And I know for myself, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm getting additional training. I'm being a part of different groups and networks to what? Build myself up to help myself go to another level. And for me, the more that I'm involved in different things and learning and, and more education, more education, it helps me to therefore have what more content, because what I do involves content creation. And so it's important that I evolve in that area and that I remain a lifelong learner. And so you have to continue to learn and evolve on a consistent basis. So that's going to be very, very, very key. Then you want to be sure that you're leveraging everything that's available to you, every aspect of who you are, number one. And number two, leveraging your resources and leveraging your connections and your networks. So it's not enough to just say, hey, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it in my own little bubble because you're going to need somebody else. You know, and I say this all the time. These three are these three things are important for success. And that is communication, collaboration and consistency. So we have to remain. We have to be consistent in what we're doing. We have to communicate effectively. And then number three, we have to collaborate. We have to work with other people to do what it is that we do, whether you are a solopreneur uh, or whether you are you have a, you know, a group or team or employees. It requires collaboration. So you want to leverage your resources you know, and you want to make sure that you do that. So that in, that includes your designing, it includes your uh, managing of what you're doing, and that is devising a plan. OK, so all of that's important. Uh, communicating your goals. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Communicating your goals, understanding uh, the actions that are needed. Uh, 
and then developing a plan for execution. So these are areas that are important. They're important. And so we'll go into those a little bit more deeply. Uh, but these are the things that you want to definitely make sure that you uh, think on these things in addition to the uh, game plan. So the first the first thing that I talked about was, you know, starting the re-strategy process. So that's three things that we want to consider there. The game plan, the um, the re uh, setting of goals and then reestablishing your audience. OK, game plan. Number one. Number two, resetting your goals. Number three reestablishing your audience. And then there are four things that you want to have encompassed in seeing your big picture. So number one, articulating your vision, making sure that you're reframing your vision. Number two, connecting the dots of your business, making sure that the project is being done effectively. Number three, making sure that you are educated and you're thoroughly trained and you're doing proper uh, preparation for where it is that you're going. And then number four, making sure that you're leveraging every part of what it is that you're doing. And that includes your design, your management, and your devising, devising of your plan, and then communication of your goals, um, understanding the actions you need to take, and then making sure that you're developing a plan that is going that you're going to execute. So all of those things are important and they're key to where you're going to land in your re-strategizing process. So we got a little ways to go with this. Uh, I may be able to finish this the next session, but if not, we'll do, you know, three parts just to break it down in, in bite-sized pieces so that you can kind of take it a little bit at a time. But utilize those and put them with the initial piece that we've already done so that you can be up to speed, but go back and watch um, the previous session. And then you want to watch today's session on re-strategizing. Okay. So here's the deal. Once you get finished, it's going to help you to see the whole thing come together on adjusting to Excel. And hopefully you'll be able to utilize this strategy and this structure to help you to get yourself aligned for the next phase of what it is that you're trying to do. OK. All right. Well, for those and when you watch this, you know, hopefully uh, make sure you have pen and paper, take some notes and um, definitely feel free to leave questions here uh, in the in the chat. You know, when you watch it and I'll be happy to address those. Uh, the next time that we're here. Okay. Thanks so much. See you next time. Have a wonderful evening.